Makeup is like really expensive. What I have on my face right now costs so much money. Luckily, it lasts a long time. And I keep trying to find other solutions. I guess there's the, the drugstore option, which is usually cheaper. And then there's another option that I found, and that's TJ Maxx and Marshalls. But I'm like, nah, I want to pay even less. TJ Maxx clearance makeup. So that's the route I decided to go. And here's... Well, here's this video. So I'm gonna go ahead and wash off all of this and uh, see how this goes. Hello, I, I'm Zofie, I'm 35 years old and I still don't really know how to do makeup. Whole face and makeup under $20. Well, not, not lipstick or lip gloss because I hate, I hate stuff on my lips. I cannot stand stuff on my lips or on my nails. So I rarely get my nails done. I get them done with my mouth. No, I stopped biting them, but they break. I don't know, it's stuck to my bag. So first up we have, this is making a lot of noise. Nice open container of some flawless face. This is a primer in, in purple. I've never, never tried purple and I don't really know if purple's gonna work on me. This is oil free, color correcting and perfecting. $3.99 and I got it on clearance for a whopping 70 cents. Is this how I do it? Ew, it doesn't feel good at all. It feels like slime. It feels like I'm spreading slime on my face. It feels really oily, but it says it's oil free. <laughs> Ew. Oh, I got this for dollars, but it's missing something. That's probably why it was four dollars. So this is what came in it. Banana setting powder. I kind of look like a banana, don't I? Get out of the box! Oh, this might be a little bit too pale for me. Maybe not. There's also this full coverage foundation stick and a blending sponge. I need instructions. I don't, I'm this bad at makeup. Glide the full coverage foundation stick along the skin in gentle swipes. Starting at the center of the face around the nose then move outward towards the chin, cheeks, and forehead. Put it everywhere? Oh, I'm supposed to dampen the, the sponge as well. I should probably go ahead and all right, so I, I have returned with, with wet sponge, but first I'm supposed to smear this on my face. This actually feels better than that oily purple goop. Oh, but jeez. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and, and try to make this look like it belongs on my face. I'm on my period too, so I'm getting a little pimply. In case you wanted to know. Holy crap, I have some serious nose hairs going on. This foundation feels like it's a little bit old. I paid four dollars. Did you expect it to be fresh? Yes, I did. I expect it to work just as well as my forty dollar one. Holy crap, it looks a lot better on camera than it does in real life. I'm gonna go ahead and put this on my lids too because I don't think I got any primer. We're doing this for under twenty dollars, okay? Don't judge. YouTube is not the place for judgment. I'm pretty sure I'm missing that one thing that would hide my zits even better. Concealer stick. All right, let's get some banana on my face. So it's set in a, in a triangle under my eye. That looks like a triangle, right? I think I'm using way too much. It's going everywhere. Maybe I am sp <coughs> Watch someone apply makeup for the first time. I've seen things like this done before, so... Oh. <coughs> I'm just getting more wrinkly makeup that makes you look older. All right, let's get this over with. What's next? I have this fierce face kit. It doesn't come with brushes. I paid $3 for this. It should come with brushes. I rarely contour, and whenever I contour, I just do it wrong. So I'm gonna go ahead and probably do it wrong again. I'm gonna go ahead and just use the same brush that I've already been using. I watched this one video where she said there's like a little hole and you're supposed to start from, from there. I'm just gonna go ahead and like, this, this seems right. I don't really see a difference. I guess I gotta put more on. More on. Look how I'm holding this. This is how I like to hold things when I put on my makeup. It looks like I got punched. Uh, where, where else does this go? Maybe a little here? All your makeup don'ts in one video. Create some shadow. Over here. Not sure why. Now you can see 
that I have bones. My skin feels so dry. I just wanna, I wanna take this stuff off. It doesn't look or feel good. They gave me other colors, so maybe I should work with that. Go ahead and just take the same brush. And I don't know, try to cover up some of that mess that you just made. That blotchy mess. Clean off your brush and then go ahead and take some highlight. Highlight. Oh yeah, I don't know where highlight goes either. No, I don't, I don't even, I, no. Maybe it goes here, I don't, I don't. I don't know if you can really see, but it's like cracking and it's all dry and disgusting. Watch another mistake. Where does this go? I should have used more than one brush. Maybe if I put it like right here. Blend it out. I didn't look hungover when I started this, but I sure do now. Pretty much failed at applying makeup on my face, but I'm gonna go ahead and move to my eyes now. This is something I have a lot more experience in, so hopefully it goes better. I picked up some Dreamy The Nudes eyeshadow palette and I paid $5.50 for this. Came with this brush and all these colors. I have really high hopes for each and every one of these. I'm not gonna use the brush they included. I'm gonna go ahead and use this one. And then I'm going to put it in my crease. Oh yeah, this is a, I like the mirror. I'm gonna give the mirror five thumbs up. I like to put in my makeup using this face. Like you really need a lot of this stuff. Usually with the expensive ones, you just use a little bit. I don't think it's doing anything on this side. Like it did it on the other side, unless I had eyeshadow left over from like maybe a previous day. My brush, because I don't clean my, clean your brushes. I'm not actually showing you guys how to apply makeup. I'm showing you what not to buy and what not to do to your face. I'm gonna go ahead and use this color now and see if I can even this out. And then maybe, I don't even think it's going on. Maybe, okay, I'm gonna try a darker color. This color. I think if I sit here and I keep doing this for the next 20, 30 minutes, I'll eventually start seeing some results. I mean, I'm like really like digging into this eyeshadow hoping that it picks up some powder so that I can transfer it onto my face. Yeah, I'm definitely seeing some results now. This makes me really happy. Normally with higher end makeup, it takes me about 10, eight to 10 minutes, but not today. Got an extra two, three hours in your day. I highly recommend saving your money and buying cheap makeup. The next one I'm applying to my crease I think is this one. I really wasn't expecting this video to be funny in any, I, I honestly thought this was gonna go well. How to look older in two hours or less. Push firmly. When you feel your eye popping out of your head, nailed it. So I'm deciding between, how do I pick a good color? Maybe if I put it on my arm. Oh, I'm so glad I put it right there. I have an idea though. I'm gonna glob on some more concealer. Or not concealer, foundation. It looks like concealer because it's like this, it's foundation. I keep calling it concealer. I guess it kind of conceals. Why am I doing this? Like, am I playing this and I have my, I have my face doing this thing. Like why would I, like why? I'm gonna go ahead and use that brush that they provided me with and I don't know if I like that color, but it's too late now. I already applied it. We're gonna go ahead and just, I'm using this one. Not like it matters. You're never gonna go out and buy this. Oh my gosh, I have so much makeup in my lap. Let the makeup gently glide off your face onto your clothing. I feel like I need to use so much of this to get any sort of results. Having older skin, it does this thing where it like bunches up and creases. It's not smooth and pretty like it used to be. I'm shriveling up, guys. I'm so excited. I absolutely love putting on eyeliner. It's the easiest thing I've ever done. Each time I do it, I know that my wings are going to be perfectly straight. So this one here is specifically for green eyes. And this was the only thing I didn't find on clearance. It was $2.99. Color is Black Raisin. I've always done this with two hands. This is my first time 
not holding my face like this. What of this color says raisin? Do you see raisin? I've absolutely hated every single moment of this. This hasn't even turned into a raisin. This is still a grape. I feel like for a total of $17, which is what I spent on all this stuff, I could have went out there and bought like one good thing and been pretty happy about it. I think if I donated this, people would be upset. I mean, even if it was this color, it wouldn't have been so bad, but I was expecting it to be more like this color. It's been a whole day of disappointment so far. Oh, please, mascara, don't let me down. And this one's this one's Mac Studio. Look at this fancy, fancy. And it was a dollar. A dollar! A dollar for mascara! There were so many of them there. No one was really buying them. Let's find out why. Okay. The heck? What? What? Why is this? I think it's squirting me. It's all over my hands. I'm gonna have to shower after this. Okay. 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 I feel like I need more eyeshadow down here. I'm just not really sure what color to, to go with. Maybe purple. This will give it more of a, something's wrong with my eye look. Get it on my face and get this over with. Somebody help me Come over to my house and show me how to put on makeup. I'm doing this thing again I don't know why I did it But here it is again. I like to protect my teeth when I'm applying eyeshadow Here we go But before I put the eyeshadow away, let's fill in some of this stuff with, with eyeshadow Yeah, no, that's that doesn't work at all. I'm gonna go ahead and do the green on this side. My natural hair color is like dishwater brown, so I think this green will work out just fine. What about this other side now? Like, what am I gonna do? I don't have anything to remove it with. Use my finger. Going in and filling this in with with this green right here. I better even it out. I should probably dip into that other color and make this one kind of red. Is that the, a red or I don't even know what color. I think it's like an orangey reddish. Shit. All right, so my eyebrows are now done and lovely looking. I definitely could have spent $17 a lot better than this. All right, so overall, I would say I'm pretty disappointed in this makeup. I don't think it was even worth $17 because I just spent two hours trying to put this stuff on my face. Yeah, I, I don't know how to how to put on makeup, but it's it's never been this much of a struggle. I don't think the eyeshadow turned out too bad, but that eyeliner, like what is that? So out of all of these products, I think my favorite thing would be the eyeshadow mirror. I'm gonna cover up whatever the heck this black raisin is with some black. This has not been a good experience. I will never be buying makeup from TG Maxx again. Lesson learned. All right, I'm gonna go walk away in shame now.